Okay, I'm gonna give you some background information before I start this. Um, I just got this stove, so one point three liter tie try, and I was wondering nobody could really answer for me if all the soot, oops, hot water in here, all the soot you see right here, will actually lower the stove alcohol stove efficiency. I couldn't really get a firm answer. Some said it could possibly even it's debated that it could even increase um, efficiency. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make this as uh, controlled of a test as possible. This is going to be a con control test. The bottom is actually cleaned off as much as I could or most most of the way. So there's pretty much no soot on the bottom. What I'm going to do here is put them out just to make sure it boils. I'm going to stick a solid probably, I'm going to stick a solid 25 milliliters in here. That, if it can't boil with that. Okay. 25 milliliters of fuel. I think I was almost able to get it to boil with about 15 if it's a hot summer day. Then it would, and it's about, I think, in the 50s right now. So let's see, got that. Get my timer and my lighter. Okay. There we go. Let's take a little bit. Try to get this as centered as possible. Um, what I typically do once it's up in a solid like one two inch flame, then I'll usually stick it on. So what I'm going to do for this test is, I'm going to let it run, record the time, the, for it to, tick, to boil, and then I'm going to do a wood mode, Not don't even have to record that, I'm going to show a video of it in between, and then I'm going to make a um, video afterwards with the bottom completely covered in soot, and try to get the um, results as close as possible. So I'm just going to cut from this um, to probably maybe when it's almost boiling. Okay, I actually noticed I didn't put the um, sticks in. So I quickly did that and kind of like to track a little bit of time. Maybe about 10-15 seconds from the time. Um, the actual boil time because I had to actually lift it up and put the sticks in real quick. Otherwise it shouldn't have affected it too much. And also I smelled some a little bit of soot that's left. The alcohol is actually burning off. I think the soot smells a little bit of smoke and it's sizzling and stuff. So, once it's about to boil, I'll get back. Okay, if you can hear it, it's about to be boiling. Probably about eight minutes or so. Seven and a half minutes. It should be boiling very soon. Bubbles are rising right now. I say that's the wrong boil. Yes, me. I'll kind of move the camera over. That's a solid eight minutes. Eight minutes exactly since I started the timer. So you could say maybe seven and a half minutes if I didn't screw up the stakes. So say seven and a half minutes, and that's about what I tested before. It was seven minutes, and my fuel ran out, and it was very close to getting a boil at seven minutes. So I'd say about seven and a half minutes um, with a clean bottom, and. Let's see, and I'll switch this burn out, and then I'll switch over to wood mode. Okay, also, and for anyone wondering, uh, I accidentally reset it, but it started at 8.5, so about 9, 10 minutes. Um, I had 30 milliliters of fuel, last about 10 minutes. So if anybody was wondering that. Um, the last um, one, about 2 minutes was with the lid off. So I guess it's debatable if, if it lasts longer. So I guess if you wanted to get water boiling for two cups of water and then you wanted to let something simmer or cook a little bit longer, then that would work perfect at 30 mil, mil, milliliters. Anyways, let me get to the wood mode. And also, I forgot to show the bottom of the, the pot. 
that's about pretty much what it looked like before I put it on the alcohol stove. It actually made it a little bit darker in these spots right here. Um, with the alcohol kind of like burnt it on in a way, I guess. But it didn't seem to, with that little bit of any noticeable amount of effect performance, even with the side stuff there. So we'll see. I'm going to show you it's going to look like this all on the bottom afterwards. Okay, it's a little bit of a sneak peek from a, one of my next videos. This is actually a prototype of the new cotton ball fire starter I've been trying. And it's actually probably way more effective than necessary. But I wanted to just kind of show you how effective it is. Let's get a leaf in there, I guess, to get some extra easily burnt stuff. And just to show you, um, you can see it in the video. On this pile of sticks right here, there's about a couple minutes to gather, and that's all it took for me to boil um, a couple cups of water in this, which is quite amazing. Because with the Inferno 4 below it, because it can get air below. Usually, when I use a cotton ball fire starter, I put it, I put it out, and I'm just gonna start this one up so it can get going. like that. I'm gonna flick this pile of sticks on it. Just let it burn, don't blow it. Don't have to worry about smothering it like a normal campfire because this has the air blow it. Let's get some extra stuff. that burn put the stake back in amazing how easily you can get a fire started in this and I've been told that should you shouldn't use really wet wood or anything to get this going but of course it's kind of hard to not use wet wood when you're outdoors. So I'm actually gonna stick this on because it's already going. And start the timer. Add a few seconds and uh, subtract a few seconds from the overall time. And I'll give you that. That's how quickly I don't know that probably took only between gathering wood and this like five minutes maybe extra. And then you have a nice little fire to look at while or water boil in it and I'll do a boil time on this afterwards as well so I'll get back to you when it's about to boil okay it's about to boil you look down you can see I only actually used half of that pile and about four minutes later okay let me get it and of course now I stocked it too high and I can't even get it the winds blowing so it's I'm pretty sure it's boiling. Yeah, it's boiling at a solid 4.30. Um, less than 4 minutes and 30 seconds. I wasn't even stalking that much. As you can see, I have this whole pile that's boiling. So it depends. If you want to use wood, it's not that bad. With the Inferno, I'm sure it's probably like a couple minutes longer without the Inferno insert. And harder to get it started and such. But, anyways, 4.5 minutes. Get to a rolling boil with a wood fire and I'll just get this burn out and then I can show you um, the bottom of it actually now I'm taking it off you can actually see all the nice coals down there and now if you let it burn long enough it'll burn down to solid white ashes if you can see out there that's where I tried it yesterday all the ashes on the ground it's a small little pile so all that burns down to and I'll keep on burning I don't know how but yeah let me just actually just pour out the water. Yeah. Probably since I have time, I'll just hey, I'll do this. That's probably a mistake. Yeah, I'll just, oh, let's not do that. Okay. Put that off the side. Now you can see the bottom of the pot is a solid black. And so, 
we're gonna see if having that soot covered on the bottom is gonna affect the alcohol stove at all. Hopefully not. I hope it not. 30 seconds is fine. Um, if it affects like two minutes, that's quite drastic. That'd be very surprising because it's such a thin coat and I couldn't believe that. I mean, some people say because it's black, it actually would help absorb more heat. So we'll see if it's faster or slower the same. About seven and a half minutes or so, what I said before. But we'll see. I'll get this burn out or whatever I'm going to do with it and I'll get back to the alcohol stove. One thing I've also noticed with the stove, um, while it's just burning out here, and nothing else to do, I, I get no embers coming out of it. Unless you probably were to do this, you can see a few embers popping out of it. But overall, when it's burning, I get no embers out of it, so it's pretty darn safe to use with a like, down garment or any other very um, sensitive to ember garment. Like, this is... Um, fleece or whatever I, I think um, so it's not going to have such a big deal but my my winter jacket has multiple holes in it from a large campfire so if you're worried about that it doesn't seem this creates very many embers or if any from this so you could have a mini campfire and not have to worry about embers for your down clothing okay this is the test now with the black bottom I can't really show you guys that water in it I'm gonna light this up real quick Okay, that's lit. That's centered. Okay, flame is on. I'm gonna get my phone and put, actually I think I said 30 before, I'm at 25 milliliters. Um, let's see. I'm gonna put the pot on. And now I got the sticks right. And start it. Um. <laughs> Might have forgot myself already. I think I said seven and a half minutes to boil, or it was eight minutes. Um, or something like that. But that could have, because of my screw up, I'd say seven and a half, I think. Um, I'll have everything correct in the text and in the description down below. Um, I'm gonna let this burn. If I have any comments in between the while it's cooking or heat in the water, it's already cooking, and I'll add those to this video. Okay, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's about to boil. It's at um, six minutes, so I'm gonna check it real quick. It's actually boiling at six minutes. So if anything. It's kind of impressive. Oh, anything, the black soot actually increases the efficiency, which is great by me because I do plan on using a wood as much as possible. And if I have to, if wood's wet, I can't get a fire going, I won't use wood. Um, I'll also, with this burnout without the lid, of course, like if you're trying to let something simmer, pretty much boiling because of the wind. Um, I'm going to put the extra minute and a half it took for the other one to boil for a user error that's me because I screwed up the the sticks in the beginning plus uh, other various reasons but it uh, it's safe enough to say that soot on the bottom does not hurt efficiency if anything it gains efficiency so this wasn't exactly a very scientific test and I screwed up at the beginning but uh, it's like I said it's safe to say um, the sun on the bottom has no effect on the burn time. It's still going at 7 minutes. Um, never really smell any smoke coming off like I did before, but I guess it could have. Um, could have. The wind could have changed direction or something. It was about just as when they occasionally get a wind gust. I don't know if you heard any um, with the f uh, wind. Uh, with the actual fire going under it when early in the video. But. Not the, earlier today, it was pretty windy, but now it's not too windy. But once this is done boiling, I'll turn on the video again. Okay, I'm not sure if you got in that, but it just stopped boiling at just about nine and a half minutes here. Uh, so, uh, it could have burnt a little bit faster because um, I didn't have the pot set down, so that extra like 30 seconds in between, I've had not had the steaks in. 
probably makes it burn slower. I don't know if it makes it burn more efficient. Probably not. Or otherwise, you pr they probably wouldn't have put the steaks in like that for this specific stove. But at nine and a half minutes, 25 milliliters. And I'm pretty sure it was 25 before. I just said 30. So 25 on this cup. I don't know if you can focus it in. I think this focus, yeah. 25 milliliters on this cup right here. And let's fill, fill it, and it lasts about 10 minutes. So I guess I, I measured, I almost got water to boil at 15 milliliters. If it was a hot summer day and really no wind, maybe about what it is now, occasional breeze, and about a solid breeze right now, but occasional gust, I guess, then it would work well. Um, let me pour out this water real quick, actually. Make sure it's solidly in focus. Um, yeah. It's, I didn't actually intend this to be a stove review. Let's make sure this isn't hot. Let's pour out this water. thing about the nice thin titanium it cools off quick as you can see still pretty black on the bottom it burnt off a little bit you can see that in the very center actually it's not really hmm. it's a little bit cleaner in the center because it burnt off some and some caked on it browned a little bit right on those otherwise it really I guess it probably melted it melted off the soot and then like re-solidified onto the bottom so where the um, stakes were, with two even stripes, now it's kind of like layered over right here. Pots cold, uh, cold to the touch. Uh, and if anybody was wondering, I was um, using cold tap water, two cups cold tap water, as cold as it will go. Probably about, I didn't measure the temperature, it's probably between 40 and 50 degrees, the tap water. Um, so it's about say 50 degree water or something 40 at the lowest I'm sure um, tap water um, at two cups and that took six minutes to boil with alcohol on this stove so yeah obviously soot doesn't make a problem with this stove I love it so far I can't wait to try it out if you have any questions to ask me about stove pots anything that comes with the kit I'll link it below and everything to make sure you get the right one I'm talking about if they hey, you took it off his website but um, I'll, uh, I'll still link the website whenever you um, you get the gist of the idea. Anyways, I'm very happy with this. And remember to ask questions below. Um, rate a thumbs up. And feel free to subscribe if um, you want to see more videos of this kind. Thanks for watching.